Folks, this is a frame from Hibernogen Racers. It is the Menel X 5 inch. And if you're not familiar with this frame, I do not want you to just, I don't go look it up right now. Wait, wait till the end of the review because I'm gonna ask you a question at the end of the review and I don't want you to sort of uh, color your answer by going and looking up things about the frame. So just keep watching and you can go look up the frame when, you're, when the review is done. So here's the box it comes in. And here's how it comes packaged. Comes with very nice uh, CAD exploded diagram to show you how to put it together. But as you can see, it really is not that complicated. It's a very simple, one might almost say minimalist frame. Here's how it comes packaged. Very nice packaging, pre-cut foam, separate cutout for each of these little camera side plates. Isn't that nice? And uh, there we go. And through the magic of video editing, ta-da, it's assembled. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about this frame. This is top-notch carbon. Uh, I, you know, it, just, it feels smooth, it doesn't feel rough. I certainly don't have the qualifications to assess, you know, like the weave or the, the resin or whatever, but it feels like, like top-notch carbon. Uh, all of the milling is very clean. Uh, there is no milling dust whatsoever. It's been cleaned, it's been washed. Uh, there's no sort of rough edge cuts or anything like that, like you sometimes find. Whoever Hibernogen have got doing their milling, they're doing a top-notch job. So this is a very, very quality uh, frame. The design of the frame, there's nothing really to complain about, I don't think. Uh, there, there's, it's not full of extraneous lightning cuts that actually just make the product weaker. The base plate is really solid. It's got cuts here for you to strap things on as you see fit. You could undersling a battery if you care to, I suppose, using these slits. They've got uh, slits here for mounting uh, maybe your receiver. Cuts on the top for your video transmitter and, of course, your battery on top if you care to. I'm a big fan of this style of mounting for the HS1177 camera. If I had a complaint, one complaint would be that there's no mechanism included in the frame to set the camera up tilt. So you can, you can brace your camera against the top plate if you like, and you can get whatever up tilt that works out to be. And it, it does look like it would be a pretty extreme up tilt. So probably what I would do if this were my frame is I would just take some layers of foam tape and build up a, a spacer to then press against with a zip tie. It might be a little bit of a detail to get overlooked in the desire to make this sort of minimalist frame. Well, actually, there's one more thing that I am obligated to point out, and I have to give credit where credit is due. It was actually Ryan Harrell, Quad McFly, who uh, immediately jumped all over this when I showed him some pictures of this frame. And that is that the design of the arms uh, does not leave very much material uh, between the end of the arm and the motor hole. And this results in uh, stress risers, a term that I learned from Bruce from RC Model Reviews, who's taught me many, many things about uh, quadcopter frames and milling and all these carbon fiber. Thank you, Bruce, for that. Uh, the problem with these stress risers is that they focus force in a crash and can result in a break, such as this or this one. Now, neither of those were this exact frame, and it's possible that the quality of this carbon fiber is greater than the quality of the carbon fiber used in those frames. Or it's possible that this is a fundamental flaw in the design of the frame that you should be aware of before you go buy the frame. I leave it to you to decide. Uh, on the one hand, it's four millimeter carbon fiber. On the other hand, so are both of the pictures I showed you of the broken copters. So uh, that's your call on that one. So all in all, all in all, there's not a lot, frankly, that, that really jumps out about this frame in order to say, oh, look at this design feature. They've done it. They've done a good, solid job on the design with a, not a lot of flourish and fluff and, d and milled it out of really high quality carbon. So what I wanna ask you is, what frames do you think that this compares to? Because there's other frames out there that are not dissimilar to this one. And how much do you think you would pay for this frame? You got a number? Hibernogen wants $90 for this frame. And that's where it falls down for me. Because as, as nice as this frame is, and, and in, in many ways it is nice, uh, I, I look at something like, for example, a Shendron's Tweaker 5 inch, which is similar, it's stylistically different, but it's similar in that it's a relatively minimalist five inch frame, but you could pick any number of other frames 
of similar design to this and find them in, let's say, the $60 range. And some of you out there are looking at this frame and you're drooling and you're saying, this guy's an idiot. That is a beautiful frame and I will gladly pay $90 for it. And it's for you that I'm making this video. But for the rest of us, if, if you look at this and you go, well, you know, for $60 I'd buy that frame, then just keep moving because this isn't the frame for you. And frankly, it's not the frame for me. There's no way I'd pay $90 for this. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's such a simple frame. Maybe they've done such a good job of making a minimalist frame that it almost feels like I'm not getting enough for my money and I'm fooling myself. I don't know. Uh, it, frankly, the frame feels overpriced to me. But other than that, it's a very nice frame and I'm happy to show it to you and I'm happy to let you know about uh, some manufacturers out there that you may not have heard of. Go check out Hibernogen, Hibernogen Racers. This is the Menel X 5-inch. Happy flying.